Dublin is the capital city of Ireland. It has over 1 million people living there. Most of these not being natively Irish. This diversity makes it like no other city. Dublin has a vibe of its own. When you first think of Ireland, you might think of history. And Dublin is far from shy of that. You have the Natural History Museum with extremely old and historic exhibits, such as these of the Vikings and ancient settlements. You also have plenty of other museums and galleries, all of which are dispersed throughout the 20th century streets. As you make your way around Dublin, whether it's on the hop on, hop off bus or by foot, you're bound to stumble upon the GPO Dublin Castle, which dates back to the early 13th century and has incredible history to tell. And maybe some street art. The city is just full of history waiting to be discovered. If you're not much of a history lover, then maybe shopping will tickle your fancy. Grafton Street is undoubtedly Ireland's busiest street with so much to offer. You have the high street shops such as H&M, Zara and of course a three story pennies. As well as these you have designer shops such as Tommy Hilfiger and Brown Thomas. Taking a few steps of Grafton Street you have Moore Street with Zaley fruit and veg markets as well as East European shops where you can pick up some delicious donuts or some seaweed snacks. Right around that corner you will also find Henry Street and shopping centers such as Jervis, Oilac and St. Stephen's Green. It's safe to say that if you need something, Dublin is bound to have it. After all that shopping, you may need to relax. Well, Dublin has a plethora of parks with activities such as yoga, flower picking and fairs. This particular one was all to do with Vikings, which is pretty damn awesome. All of these being free of course. You can also join one of the many protests, such as this vegan one that I stumbled into recently. Or perhaps go on a walk in Phoenix Park the largest enclosed park in Europe. You might be visiting Dublin in search of a place to study. Well, you'll be happy to know that colleges such as CCU, DIT, UCD and CND are offering great settling and help. Dublin has also the prestigious Trinity College, one of the top nine colleges in the world. It's a beautiful campus featuring monuments, aspiring writers and a book of Kells. As day turns to night and Dublin street performers leave, the nightlife emerges. Temple Bar is Dublin's home. We're at the Temple Bar. You can find bars, restaurants and nightclubs around every single corner. What's astonishing is that you have locals hosting hens and stags daily, really building a strong Irish atmosphere that's hard to get. <laughs> Temple Bar is also really, really safe. After your 10th pint, when you're feeling hungry, you'll be happy to find that there's takeaways everywhere open till the early hours. Be sure to check out Temple Bar. Dublin is like no other city with a distinct vibe of its own. My Instagram at Sylvester underscore Productions and all the gear that I use is linked below. As always, thanks for watching.